His father and mother were slaughtered by the bandit ambush. And two brothers, Nusun and Tongai, jumped on a horse and ran away. That day, brothers gave a word. A word of revenge. Tongai started in Imperial lands with nothing. Slowly, improved, improved, improved. His reputation was increasing day by day. Local towns was talking about Tonga, the bandit butcher. Many villagers was joining to his party. Tonghai started you into tournament and won lots of them. His name was known in many cities and castles. He rode his horse to the crusade lands to talk to Manchu to become his vassal. After one year, Tungai proved his ability and intelligence of war. He raided many caravans. He captured many lords. <laughs> In Karadia, people call him Tonghai Han, one of the most fighting lords. States declared war on civil nation. Armies was raiding into western kingdoms. Castles and cities was falling one by one. Tongai Han honored with the king. 
Cass looked for that hill, northeast of Colorado. When captured, Cass was starving, poor, and paid. Tongayakhan reconstructed the castle, solved the food problem, killed nearby bandits, fooled the garrison with horse archers, and won love of the folk. One day, Tongai Khan attacked the Volandian lord, Moko. Tongai was winning the war until he got a deadly war. Soldiers got him up and rushed to the castle of Watuji. A shaman from Karahan started to kill while healing with a ritual. He showed him something. He showed him the future. Crusades had conquered nearly all Calradia. Lords had moved to western city. Crusade land was forgotten and bandits was everywhere. As the pain, crime and sadness. When woke up, he somehow knew. All of those was true. He went to Alata, a close friend, asked his backup against the common rebellion. But it didn't happen as he told. Alata rushed to him. Retreat and surrender. He declared a traitor and imprisoned at Picard. Eight years he lived in that disgusting and horrible jail for eight years. But one day, bells were ringing all over the city. <laughs> 